guy's a mystery. He was brought here, like I said, for head shaking. So we're trying to sift out his cause. He's trying to be very willing here. And there's his head tossing. Cranial sacral therapy recently has been introduced into the equine world. Today this therapy is widely being used with much success to treat many various equine conditions. One of these is head shaking syndrome. Head shaking syndrome plagues horses around the world. Many of these horses are deemed unrideable or dangerous to their owners. Meet Jim, a head shaker from Australia. We notice he exhibits a very sudden, sharp, and intermittent pattern of head shaking, even while he's grazing. He also shows signs of an imbalance in the temporal mandibular function and tight muscle patterns in the muscles of mastication. This gentle and non-invasive therapy roots originate from the field of cranial osteopathy in the early 1900s. Professionally trained practitioners apply specific hands-on techniques and contacts using only five grams of pressure, which focus on the bones and tissues of the cranium and areas throughout the body. Meet Hector, a 20-year-old thoroughbred gelding from Arizona. His head shaking was first noticed in the spring of 1990, unbeknownst to the new owners who purchased him in the previous fall. Over a 10 year period, many various therapies and practices were tried. Antihistamines, steroids, and even equine chiropractic with a rubber mallet. Each only gave temporary relief, if any at all, to his uncomfortable condition. In the spring of 2000, Hector received his first cranial sacral treatment, and an immediate change was noticeable. Here we see Hector right before he receives his second cranial sacral treatment. We now see Hector after his second cranial sacral treatment. An immediate change can be seen in his head shaking pattern and he starts to feel relief.
We notice him process the changes from the treatment, cycles of head shaking, followed by stillness and endorphin releases, like licking and chewing and yawning. This signifies changes in the tissues and in the cranial sacral rhythm. The hands-on portion of a cranial sacral treatment lasts for an hour before giving the horse time to process the changes. In treatment, specific focus is given to areas where the tissues have become compromised and their tense integrity and health. Due to retuned practices of the equine industry that put continual and intermittent stresses on the cranium, the specific bones, and the surrounding tissues. These practices such as dental work, bit pressure, nose bands, training methods and surgeries to name a few compromise the health and function of the body's natural free moving state. His head shaking seemed to have been the byproduct of a head injury sustained from his days as a racehorse. We can see the compression to the right nasal bone, maxilla, and frontal. Another head injury in 1995, which only complicated his situation, taking out his front two incisors. Hector, after living in discomfort for 10 plus years, is now able to enjoy a new free life. A total of five cranial sacral treatments were given over a period of a year and a half. Today, Hector still receives treatments to maintain his health and balance throughout his body.